God deserves, desires, and expects our whole heart when we commit to a relationship with Him. Nothing less will do. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with a mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, we learn our God is an all-consuming fire in Hebrews 12.29 and Deuteronomy 4.24. There is nothing halfway about him in his nature. When he visits his people, it said in 1 Kings 8.11, the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord. Or in 2 Chronicles 7.1, the glory of the Lord filled the temple. 1 Corinthians 3.16, do you not know that you are the temple of God and the Spirit of God dwells in you? 2 Corinthians 3.18 says that when we behold the glory of the Lord, we are transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. So just as God gives his all in the form of his only begotten son, Jesus, who in turn gave us his all on the cross, so whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He expects nothing less from us, his children. Father God wants us to know the love of Christ, which passes understanding, that we may be filled with all the fullness of God, Ephesians 3.19, and Ephesians 5.18, to be filled with the Spirit, and Colossians 1.9, to be filled with the knowledge of His will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. But we must be hungry and uh, ready to receive. Luke 6.21, Blessed are you who hunger now, for you shall be filled. On, or Matthew 5, 6, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, or right standing with God, for they, for they shall be filled. How do we receive all God has to offer? Well, throughout the Bible, we're told to draw near to Him, and He will draw near to us, James 4, 8. Take pleasure in the Lord. Be in awe of or, or fear of the Lord. Seek the Lord with all of our heart, Jeremiah twenty nine thirteen. Abide in the Lord, and He will abide in you, John fifteen four. Delight in the Lord. Let him be your entertainment. Put your hope in the Lord, not in the world. Find your strength in the Lord and the power of his might. Rest in the Lord. Lean upon the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Don't get ahead of him. Trust in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give him credit for everything good that happens in your life. And submit to the Lord. After all, he is our all in all. Colossians 1.17 Word of encouragement. Our God is a loving God. He wants us to be consumed with him. That's why he tells us to love him with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our mind, all of our strength, Mark 12, 30. In order to accomplish this commandment, we must rid ourselves of other interests that would try to take his place. It's a process we won't regret. Have a great day.